이곳에서는 클라이밍 슈즈를 무료로 렌탈할 수 있는데요 락 클라이밍은 신발이 굉장히 중요하다고 합니다 여기는 좀더큰 걸로 신는 건데? 어 그런데 11.5? 와 It's 11.5 right? 어, 난 10NF 신는데? 아니 좀큰거 아닌가? 오 어, 이거 꽉 끼는데요? 아니 왜 이렇게 작게 신지? 일반 신발과 사이즈가 달라서 자신에게 맞는 신발을 골라야 합니다 어떤 운동이든 웜업이 중요한 거 다들 아시죠? 모든 운동을 하기 전에는 간단하게 몸풀기로 몸을 좀 따뜻하게 데펴줘서 경직된 몸을 풀어줘야 됩니다 이렇게요 아우 그때 힘을 너무 많이 뺐나? 아우 어 근데 저 사람 뭐 하는 거죠? Um, this is a rice bucket. It's uh -huh. basically antagonist training and a wrist strength training. So uh, when you're climbing, you're squeezing and grabbing a lot. Okay. So what this does is it uh, evens out the tendons. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my hand in, mm -hmm. twisting and opening, twisting and opening. So that works the opposite tendons, mm -hmm. and it also helps strengthen the wrist. Chinese movie, you know, Kung Fu movie, yeah. there, you know, the train, the same, like, you know, the same thing? Same thing, very That's interesting. Same, same principle, except instead of for punching, it's for cool, cool. squeezing. Yeah, 쌀을 가지고 이런 데 활용하다니. <웃음> 신기해서 저도 한번 해봤는데요. 아니, 옛날에 어머님이 먹는 거 갖고 장난치지 말라고 그랬는데 또 쌀이 이런 용도로 또 쓰일 줄이야. 자 그럼 본격적으로 락 클라이밍을 하러 가보실까요? 네 지금부터 여러분에게 필요한 장비들을 소개해 드릴 건데요 먼저 가장 중요한 신발입니다 근데 신발이 우리가 평소 신는 것보다 약간 작은 듯해요 So why do you wear the shoes so tightly? So the thing with the shoes is the reason they're so tight is they allow you to stand on these very very small footholds mm -hmm. and actually use your whole foot and push your whole body up the wall If these shoes were any bigger, mm -hmm. if they had a lot of extra room in them, your feet would slide right off these holds. Then your hands would have to work a lot harder. You get tired a lot quicker. These shoes that. actually allow you to move your whole body more effectively. Ah, 아, 그래서 신발을 조금 작게 신는 거군요. 그럼 이번엔 본 장비에 대해서 물어봤는데요. So mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to get you in a harness right now, like I'm wearing. So this is designed mm -hmm. to hold on to your waist as well as your legs, so you can sit nice and upright when you're in the harness. Okay. So, right. Go ahead and mm -hmm. hold on to it like that. Yeah. And step in and get your legs through those loops. Mm -hmm. There you go. And we'll just get this one this way. There you go. Okay. Now pull so. that all the way up so it's above your hips. Mm -hmm. Good. Now we're going to do... Mm -hmm. So you want to hold on to this right here. Yes. And then grab this strap and pull that straight backwards. 자, 장비도 입었고 본격적으로 클라이밍을 하기 전에 안 쓰는 근육을 많이 사용하는 운동이니까 뭔가 특별한 스트레칭법이 있을 것 같아요. In terms of warming up before you climb, the mm -hmm. big thing is we're going to be using our hands a lot to hold on while we're going up the wall. So okay. we want to make sure we're taking good care of our fingers and our mm -hmm. tendons. So what I'll do is I'll go along each of my fingers and very lightly just sort of oh. roll back and forth. You feel that kind of tendon over your bone right there? Mm -hmm. I want to kind of just do that just very gently just to get the fingers warmed up. Mm -hmm. And then what I'll do is I'll just very gently grab and just bend my hand back just a little bit. I'm gonna feel that in the forearm right down here. Okay. And it's just gonna get that warmed up a little bit. I do that mm -hmm. on each side. And then I, what I can also do is bend it down like that and just kind of do this a little bit. Like this? Yeah, you feel that right along the top right here. Oh. And then do it on the other side. Just, you know, yeah. just very light, just very light just to get it warmed up a little. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I wanna make sure I do is I shake out my hands below my waist. That gets the blood flowing. And I'll do this while I'm climbing too. I'll be holding on with one hand mm -hmm. and my other hand I just shake it out a little bit. 
and they'll grab on, right? It okay, just gets the blood flowing into the hands. Cool. All right, feel kind of loose in your hands now? Yeah, it's a little hit it up. Good, good, good. Cool. Got it. Ready to do it? I'm ready. All right, so. So what is the first step? What I'm gonna do is, first off, I'm gonna tie you in. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna tie you to one side of the rope and then I'm gonna be on the other side of the rope taking in the slack and holding it to mm -hmm. keep you off the ground if you fall. So to start, what I'm gonna do is make a figure eight with this mm -hmm. rope right here. Now what I want you to do is I want you to take this and stick it through that loop right there. Oh, this. Uh-huh. And then pull it out through this one. It should go parallel to that green loop. All the way. Mm -hmm. So now it looked like that first figure eight, mm -hmm. except now it's all doubled up. And the great thing about this, it's insanely strong. Very, very strong. Good for about 5,000 pounds in this knot. Wow. If you pull it, it's only going to get tighter. Mm -hmm. And we can look at it, and we can kind of see this pattern of these lines. Now, if we're outside, if we're, you see, there's yeah, like yeah, all these same. sets of lines ah. next to each other. If we're outside, and we're in Yosemite or something, and we're on opposite sides of a canyon, mm -hmm. if I can see your knot, I can see that it's tied correctly. So if oh. there's something wrong with it, I can tell you just by looking at it. Right? It's the same so, pattern. Exactly. Wow. What I look for is two, four, mm -hmm. six, eight, ten. As long as I see that, I can see that it's correct, and I can see that you're good to go. Okay, cool. Right? Feel that's good about my, that? Yeah, it's cool. my life. So here's what I'm gonna do on my side. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get set up over here. What is this? Oh, so what this does is, you probably weigh what, like about 175? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I weigh 130. Oh. So I'm trying to hold you off the ground while you're climbing. But if you fall and I'm not entirely ready for it, I'll still catch the rope, but it might pull me off the ground a little bit. Ah, so what I do I is I take this and I attach myself. So now I'm not going to go anywhere if you pull me. Attach ah. to the ground. So 이게 이게 뭔지 되게 궁금했었는데요. 아 이게 그 고정해 줄수 있는 그런 고정 장치네요. That's going right to the concrete. Just attach right to the building. Ah, so cool. try this. Pull on your rope as hard as you can. Both hands as hard as you can. See, wow. just two fingers. Just two I'm, fingers. Just two fingers. <laughs> well, two You're pulling little... as hard as you can. One more time. Yeah, sure. I do my best. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Wow. Because what it is, is it's just friction right here. Because this rope is going through this bend, as long as I'm holding this rope down here, no matter how hard you pull, it's not going to slide. Wow. Right? So as you climb, I'm going to be pulling that rope through, and I'm just going to be hanging out with my hand down here. So if you fall, I have my hand down here, and I'll hold your whole body, no problem. You ready to try? Sure. Okay. So very important thing, you got to make sure I'm ready to go before you start. Okay. So before you start, right, so this is called this action I'm doing, it's called belaying. Mm -hmm. Belay, it's a sailor term, it means to stop, to stop something, so I'm belaying the rope, I'm stopping the rope. Mm -hmm. Before you go, you have to make sure I'm ready. So you have to say on belay. On belay. On belay. That's right. On belay. Sure. So when I hear that, I'm going to pull the rope till I feel you. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to say belay on. Belay on. Belay on. So I'm telling you, you're ready to go. Okay, got it. And then you can approach the wall. Mm -hmm. And once you're ready, you say climbing. And I'll say climb on. Okay, got it. All right. Notice these numbers. Uh -huh. So this is the Yosemite decimal system. This tells us the difficulty of every route on the wall. So oh. the first number is just a, it's always a five. Because mm -hmm. everything we're doing in here where you need your hands and your feet and a rope mm -hmm. is fifth class climbing. This applies all over North America. Anytime you need a rope to climb, it's fifth class. Okay. So this is all fifth class. The second number after the decimal tells me the difficulty. So 5.5 oh. means it's very, very easy. That's the easiest we have in this gym. Okay, this one is... So this, this white, one. if you, so what this means, the color right here corresponds to the color of the hold. Oh, the same color. Exactly. So you would follow the white holds all the way up, then you're climbing this 5.5. Oh, I see. If you bring it up a little bit, so like over here, red is 5.6, just these red holds, 5.7, those purple holds over there, gets harder and harder. 5.12B, very, very small, like razor sharp things you have to balance on while you're climbing. 아 홀더마다 난이도가 다르군요 저는 오늘 처음이니까 제일 쉬운 흰색으로 5.5에 도전하겠습니다 네 이제 제가 한번 도전을 한번 해보겠습니다 자 도전! 어 이거 이게
이게 초보자용인데요. 뭐 생각보다 생각보다 뭐 할만한데요? 으쨰! 오케이. Okay. So, ah, uh, there you go. Look at that. Uh, that right foot. Perfect. Alright. Ah. Uh. Ah, 근데 막상 위에 올라가니까 갑자기 머리 속이 하얘졌어요. 아 흰색을 잡아야 되는데 아 올라가니까 너무 긴장이 돼서 그냥 앞에 있는 걸 잡게 되더라고요. 아. 아, 모르겠다. 알라이트. 디스 이즈 엔드. 디스 이즈 엔드. 오케이. 그래서 once you got that. Yes. Now push your feet out in front of you like you're sitting back in a big chair. Just like this? That's it. Now I'm going to lower you down and just go ahead and walk down the wall, okay? So the walk? Just walk down the wall. 와우, wow, really, 보세요, 손에 땀이. Uh -huh. Thank you. Of wow, it's really cool, really cool. 맨 위에 올라갔을 때는요, 어, 이게 긴장되는 느낌이 이게 정말 스릴 있어요. 그리고 딱 받쳐서 내려올 때는 제가 완전히 밑에 있는 사람을 믿어야 되기 때문에 그 신뢰감이 없으면 누울 수가 없잖아요. 근데 거기에서 딱 믿음이 생겼을 때 자신 있게 내려올 수 있습니다. 아, oh, it's really, really cool. Awesome. 아, 자신감은 뭐죠? <웃음> 다음엔 제대로 올라가겠습니다. Uh, for me, it was to conquer a fear of heights, honestly. Uh, I've been into sports my entire life, uh, and as I've gotten older, I don't have as many opportunities to play basketball or football or baseball or anything like that, and I'm not much of a fan of a traditional gym. I don't like going in and doing a lot yeah, of reps right. on, uh, on, on weights. I get very tired of that very easily. So this was an opportunity to get rid of that fear of heights and continue to work out and have fun while doing it. It's been, uh, it's been a great experience so far. Definitely think it's just the adrenaline and the excitement. Um, I mean, every kid grows up climbing trees. I think it's mm -hmm. in our nature to want to just climb. It's fun. And so, you know, you see this and you just look and you're like, I want to see if I can do that. I want to see if I can climb and overcome my fear or the difficulty or just develop a skill and the great thing about rock climbing is it's one of the best workouts naturally you can do. You just develop muscle just by enjoying yourself doing it.